Alright, what's going on, people? It's your man, Go Go Head John, here. We're here today with another video uh, showing off a gu another gun attachment for the PlayStation Move. What we have here is, I know you've all seen it, it's, all, it's been all over the internet, highly talked about, but once again, here we have the PlayStation Move Sharpshooter. That's the official name, PlayStation Move Sharpshooter. For the PS, for the PlayStation Move, for the PS3, of course, duh. But um, yeah, that's that's it right there in the flesh. Um, I guess let's, let's get into it. Let's talk about what actually comes out of the box. Um, there's simply two things. One, obviously, is the sharpshooter itself. Uh, I guess it's like some machine got some machine gun style. Um, I mean, you see all uh, all the buttons on it and such. We'll get into that a little bit later. I don't know what. All the buttons are what they do. I actually just took it out of the box. You can still see the plastic. Uh, you, yeah, you can still see the plastic right there on the, over the the uh, the space where the PlayStation Move goes. So, but yeah, I'll, I'll just show you what the buttons are. And like I said, I don't know exactly what all of them are what they do. So that, of course, the gun comes out of the box. And the only other thing that comes out of the box is uh, this is an instruction manual. Basically, just showing you. You know how to set the gun up, how to put the motion controller and the navigation controller inside uh, inside of the gun peripheral accessory, whatever you want to call it. Of course, it's in English, Spanish, French. You no know, typical normal. And the other thing is just some <laughs> some stickers, little st stickers that you can put all over your gun. As you can see, we got some SOCOM four stickers and uh, SOCOM four and Kill Zone three. Some stickers for the ISA and well, that's hell gas and stickers for the ISA. So I, ISA and hell gas stickers. Um, obviously those stickers, those stickers are actually in the box because that's those are two games that are su supposed to support this actual gun attachment. Um, it's not. First off, obviously this. Uh, gun accessory is not like any of the other gun accessories that are out there currently on the market that came out before that before this really all those other gun attachments um, I mean attachments but the PlayStation move gun uh, accessories whatever they're pretty much just um, specialized decorative holders <laughs> PlayStation move holders really that's all they are they they really don't add anything to the gameplay uh, to the move itself just they they pretty much just hold your move and navigation controller in um, in place for you, so you don't have to hold it in your hand. They don't actually do anything other than that, and therefore that's why some of them are you know they're okay, but they're not fully functional, you know, you know for actual PlayStation Move uh, gameplay, uh, first person shooter gameplay. This actually is the first, and I'm this is why I was actually highly anticipated and excited about this. But this is like the first. Uh, PlayStation Move gun accessory that actually was made uh, with games in mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not just a holder for the PlayStation Move control uh, controller. It actually is integrated. It integrates the PlayStation Move controller within the gun attachment itself, so that you can actually press the buttons on the gun to perform cer uh, certain actions in game. Uh, as you can see, uh, as you actually can't see, but I'll just tell you. Right here on the side, it's actually on both the left and the right side of the gun. But you have the square and the triangle. And of course, in most, uh, most if not all, um, shooting games, you know, square is the reload and a triangle could be, you know, switch your weapon out or something like that. And in past, past uh, accessories, PlayStation Move gun accessories, those buttons weren't on, actually on the... Um, the accessory, the gun accessory itself, they were, you know, of course, just mapped on the motion controller. And when, although those previous gun accessories actually worked, whenever you wanted to reload or just switch your weapon out, you pretty much had to reach up here, take your hand from wherever you were, you know, your your off hand, I should say, from wherever you were holding the uh, the gun and try to move it and touch the buttons all up here for the motion controller and it, it just messed the gameplay up. I mean the whole purpose of these uh, accessories, these peripherals, is to emerge you into the game. And when you have to stop your gameplay just to 
you know, try to reload or you know, do basic stuff, jump or whatever. It, re it really, uh, it really takes you out of the game. So I'm glad to see these buttons on this controller. So my nephew over there. I'm glad to see these uh, buttons on the controller uh, itself. What else? What other buttons are actually on here? Right here, we got three different uh, fire rates that you can switch to. It looks like we got single shots. Um, I don't know, maybe that's like a semi-automatic, uh, you know, three-shot burst or something like that, and that's probably fully auto automatic. I actually have to see when I get get into a game of uh, kills on three or whatever games that may su actually support this. So that's that. Of course, we got the trigger, and then we have a this is a lock. This is a lock feature. I guess it's to lock something in place. No, it doesn't lock the trigger. I don't know what it locks, but it locks something. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Okay, we have this extra button down here, which is... That's actually the move symbol, the PlayStation Move. So I guess the PlayStation Move button that's on the motion controller, that's that's the move button. So, whatever, when games require, require you to duck or even like uh, screen lock. I think that's what it's called, screen lock. That's what that is. So the lock actually locks that in place so that you don't accidentally accidentally hit that during gameplay. So that's nice. That's a nice feature. And then here on the bottom, once again, I'm sorry for it being blurry, but that says RL. And I guess that means reload. So I guess you can hit that to, to reload. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess that's the reload button. So that's, that's nice, I guess. <laughs> and then... And the sweetest front, uh, features that I've seen that I really like with, for actual reloading is just the cock back. Let's see if I can actually show it on camera. Yeah, if you can see that, <laughs> you can actually pull that back to reload. So almost kind of like a you know pump action shotgun or something. That's that's a nice little feature, quick feature. Just reload, get back into it. And the only other thing up here on this orange bar is just it says release. So I guess that's just the way you um that's just the way that you actually put your motion controller into the gun assessor. What's that say? That says select right there. Okay. And I guess that says start. Yeah. So that's another nice little feature. I didn't know I I just seen that. So yeah, just like on the motion controller where start and select is on the side of the, the uh controller is the same with the gun. So that's that's another nice that's something nice. I didn't know that. Sweet. And just on the back of the gun, of course, you can slide the stock out. Uh, you can slide the stock out uh, for maybe more comfort or whatever. And there's a little tab here that allows you to slide it back in. And that's it. <laughs> that's it in a nutshell. That's that's this PlayStation Move Shop Shooter. Um. It's retail at $39.99. You can get this online or in store at, I guess, like your lo local game stop or whatever game store that you have in your area. Um, or you could be like me and get it off Amazon. I do highly recommend getting things off Amazon. They're very good with their shipping and such. Actually, right now, this gun might be out of stock on Amazon. When I ordered it last week, it was in stock. But yesterday when I looked, it said it was temporarily out of stock. So... It might be out of stock on uh, Amazon, but you can check that for yourself. And, um, yeah, that's it. That, there you have it, the PlayStation Move Shop Shooter. Um, obviously, I have Killzone 3. I just finished the campaign on Killzone 3, actually on release date. It's actually a very short campaign, single player, that is. And just today, I started up on the multiplayer while I was actually waiting for this to get delivered to me so now that I have it did this quick video so I'll go and and get on some online and actually test this bad boy out to see how well it works so I'll make a video actually sh actually showing me showing some gameplay of this PlayStation move with the sharpshooter gun accessory gameplay for Killzone 3 the box I mean I mentioned well, you know Killzone 3 and SOCOM 4 you know, uh, it's supposed to support this uh, gun attachment, but also it says that Time Crisis, um, 
Time Crisis and Dead Space Extraction also support this PlayStation uh, accessory, move accessory. And those two, those last two games I just mentioned, I believe those are both rail shooters. Those, you not actually, you don't actually control your own, own move, movement. But, yeah, that's it. The PlayStation Move Shop Shooter by Sony, <laughs> Sony Computer Entertainment. $40 on, on in store. I believe this is the best. Although I actually haven't even used it yet, but I honestly believe, honestly believe that this is the best uh, PlayStation uh, Move gun attachment that you can buy that's out there right now. Um, just because of all the integrated buttons that are actually on the gun itself that actually, that actually keep you emerged inside the game that you're playing without actually you know having you stop to do this to reload and do that and all these other crazy fandangle things as you can see it's not a whole bunch of different stupid attachments on the gun like a barrel here and this there and a scope here actually there looks like a place that you can probably put a scope on this but that's just silly <laughs> it's silly it's not a real gun it's 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 an it's an accessory. You really don't need to put all that crazy fandangledness on there. So, yeah, the first actual PlayStation gun accessory that is integrated the PlayStation Move uh, controller within it. So, like I said, this is if you're if you're thinking about getting an accessory, a gun attachment for your PlayStation Move, this would be it. <laughs> I would say completely bypass and forget all the other gun attachments uh, accessories that's out there there are plenty of them there's all different kinds uh, you know assault rifles submachine guns pistols I even saw a sniper rifle uh, uh, recently and it just looks ridiculous but this is the one this is definitely the one um, once again I told you I'll put up a video of Killzone 3 with me use, using it to actually give a you know an actual review of how well it works in game and yeah that's it so there you have it it's been go go ahead john thanks for watching